They hate the Philadelphia Eagles. That's a division uh -huh, rival. Uh -huh. That should be a big day. Alshon Jeffrey against uh, Detroit. Detroit, man. Best defensively, but yet they can't win games to save their life. They just yeah. keep losing all these games they're supposed to win. Yeah. Owen Daniels, DeAndre Hopkins, C.J. Anderson, I know these are going to get 30, but it'll probably get a decent one. On the inside, you get the Braille Bombers. Andrew Luck should have a big day. He should bounce back from his lower score. I heard running backs look about as bad as mine, but she does have Golden Tate, who should have bounced back and have a big game. Anquan Bolden, I don't know if he's going to hit that 18, but she does have Demarius Thomas and Reggie Wayne, who should see their numbers. So I like my mom in that one, and hopefully we push Todd down a little further in that division to make sure I still make it in the playoffs. Next up. A uh, battle between two powerhouse teams. The Malibu Stacys Ooh. go up against Ralph Wiggum Experience, two teams atop or close to the top of their Divisions. I don't know. That's going to be this a good This is what one. Keith Jackson would call a big matchup. That's right. <laughs> uh, will she go with Jay Cutler or the handsome Tom Terrific? I think she's going to go with Tom know. Brady. I'm just saying. She's got Matt Forte, Jeremy Hill, who has been on fire as of late. Yeah. Julio Jones, the beast out of Atlanta. Josh Brown, who's seeing a nice one. Yeah. Paul Niles, who? I know. Oh, That's that was the guy. problem. Yeah. Okay. Eddie Lacy, who should again stop the competition. And then on the other side, Tony Romo's back, who doesn't seem to be bothering him at all. He's yeah. killing it. Alfred Morris, I think he's been lackluster. Trey Mason, toss up. Jeremy Macklin's been getting it done. Calvin Johnson, wow, he's a powerhouse. Yeah. That steal he made from his daughter, don't even try to tell me that was a fair <laughs> trade. Uh, it was as questionable as they get. Colby <laughs> Fleener, who's still seeing work because my guy got hurt. And Kelvin Benjamin, again, uh, in line for Rookie of the Year against Odell Beckham Jr. Got Odell Beckham against Jacksonville. Yeah. Yikes. Let's hope Eli doesn't have a great day and Jason loses somehow. So, I'm pulling for Malibu Stacey's. I think this is the game of the week that everybody's going to be paying attention to. Yeah, it's a tough one. So are you saying there's going to be an investigation on that trade? No, no investigation. Okay. But uh, let's just say it goes in the column of any other ones will be more highly scrutinized <laughs> because there's some questions that arose from that one. There's been a lot of backlash, as they say, from the bushes. Okay. Uh, Rockland Smashers goes up against the Wild Poopers. Another game that they're pretty evenly matched, but yep. that could have playoff implications as well. Yeah. What happens with uh, the Wild Poopers. If they put a, put a, put a win in there, She's uh, poised to make it in, is that right? Absolutely, yeah. And I was going to say, with, with Rockland, this is what's interesting. With Rockland, they had Nick Foles get hurt, and then he went with yeah. Dirty Sanchez for only 20. <laughs> who, who got 20, or he's projected to get 20. Hi, David. Hey, Kath, we might need you in here, sweetie pie. <laughs> Eli Manning is slated to get 20. I don't know if that's going to happen. LaShawn McCoy has been bouncing back, and it's against Dallas, their big rivalry. So we'll see if he gets it done. Jordan Nelson should have a big day. Mike Wallace has been doing nice things. Uh, Torrey Smith should have a good one. Oh, sorry, there's all these cups around. Uh, it's okay. On the other side, you got Drew Brees, who looks good, but boy, against Pitt. Oh, I hope he has a bad day against Pitt. Please let us slow him down even a little bit. Steven Jackson for 13. Uh oh, 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 oh. Look, best daddy. Look. There you go. You say hi. Hi, David. Julius no. Thomas, will he play? If he does, that's going to be big ones. Sammy Watkins, again, another great rookie of the year. Deshaun Jackson, I give the edge to the poopers just because of her talent level, but yeah. a lot's going to come down to whether Julius Thomas plays, especially if Rockland gets his game together. So, okay, uh, do you need some help? I don't know. You might just need to get him out of there. Go, oh, no, 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 okay. touch it. It's going to get, okay, uh, we can't touch it. All right, okay. we've got the Peak Ladies against Krusty's Clown College. You think Melinda gets win number three? Uh, I think she might. I think she just might. She's got Colin Kaepernick. Again, big game against Seattle on Turkey Day. Bishop Sankey, who yep. has been getting it done a little bit. Chris Ivory up and down. Brandon Marshall, great. Cecil Short should have a good day. Vernon Davis, I don't know what to think of him. Jason Witten should be big for him. Benny Cunningham for St. Louis. Again, we'll see how that works out. On this side, you got college with Phillip Rivers looking good. Brandon Oliver. Kind of falling off for sure. Charles Sims, that's a reach. Josh Gordon should have a good day. Gronkowski should have a big day. Emmanuel yeah. Sanders should have a good day. Andre Johnson might have a good one. I give the edge to uh, college because they've got the bigger talent level, but I'd love to see Pink Ladies get at least one more win before the end of the season. Who else you got? Nice. And then finally, we've got Day Nada against you, the worst team ever. I need this win more than I needed just about any win the entire season. Oh boy, Aaron Rodgers against New England. I don't know how that's gonna go. Run, girl, run, thank you. Fred Jackson, I got. I need help with my running backs. I'm praying Fred Jackson's groin's healthy. Maybe I can help him with that. Yeah. Darren Sproles should hopefully be a good. I need Cobb to get big numbers. I need Brown to come back and get big numbers. I need Graham with another good night. I need Kendall Wright to actually show up. I need Martavis Bryant to get another two touchdowns. That would be, that'd be just great. Exactly, he's the other guy that caught a few. Okay. Matthew Stafford, I need you to keep doing badly, especially against Chicago. DeMarco Murray, I need you to be slow against Philadelphia. Uh -huh. Andre Ellington, God, I hate. I played Joe twice. Andre Ellington, every five minutes it was, oh, back, little 
Throw a slant out of the backfield to Andre Ellington. Another reception. Another just point, point, point. Have you played him yet this year? Yeah, I played him and I lost to him, I think. Or did I? I don't know. He's got Terrence West, that other Cleveland back. I think I might have lost to him. And Michael Floyd. So, who knows? Oh, and last time his Packers got like 30 or 40 points. All right. Let's hope they don't do that against Cleveland. I want them to win, but not that badly. Okay. Is that it? It is. Let me ask you this. How sure. many games are on uh, tomorrow? Three. Okay, so we really got the critical. Dallas game, the Detroit game, and then at night the San Francisco Seattle game. Okay, so critical to set, set the your lineup, lineup tonight, right? It's not just games, right. It's not just the two teams that you yeah. normally got. You got to look at all six teams. That's I don't right. have them all in front of me, but yeah. check your lineups because a lot of people are going to play tomorrow. You don't want to be left out in the cold with a turkey and a sweater. And if you miss. You can still squeak them in before the other two games play. That's right. You, you still know, got the games on the uh, on the weekend what, to go for. Five minutes before. Kickoff, yeah, right? everything goes five so. minutes before, so we're good there. Don't forget if you're cooking a turkey, you want to brine it the night before. That always helps get the uh, yeah. juiciness yeah. into it. Yeah. Don't overcook your turkey. Here comes David, Kath. Thank you. <laughs> and we're about ready to cut this one short. No, have Davey come in. Come here, Davey. Come over here. You want to come see Daddy? Come here. Come right see Daddy. Outside. Come say hi. Come say hi to the fans. Say hello. Come here, David. Come here. Come say hi. Come lean Just in. Squeeze in. Come squeeze in. There's Davey. <laughs> Say happy hey, Davey. Thanksgiving. Say happy Thanksgiving. Look over there. Right Say there. hi. Oh. Oh, Say hi. Oh, there That's go. right. Okay. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Have a good turkey day. And uh, we love happy you all. We'll see you later. Good to see my buddy here, even if it's only for a couple days. And we'll talk to you all later. Hit the red button, Kath. That turns it off. 